Today we'll be finishing my wood carving of a bison and an astronaut. Bison, astronaut, carved. So the work for today is finishing up my wood carving. Um, this is one that I've uh, worked on previously that's kind of my mock-up for what I'm doing with this entire body of work. So I have a um, carved figure out of some laminated um, l reclaimed lumber and then I have a structure underneath it with stretcher bars um, that are basically keeping these legs straight that make this sit at a kind of a low pedestal height that also could serve almost as a, as a tabletop. Um, this is painted with a milk paint. Um, so today what I'm going to be doing is measuring and cutting and assembling the framework for the legs on my other pieces and also um, painting it with milk paint. comes right off it's amazing so here I'm about to um, actually do my first primer coat of milk paint and I'm doing I'm, 
I'm doing the opposite of what I should do. I'm um, trying two different in, um, new ingredients into my milk paint. Normally, I work with um, powdered marble as a thickening agent for my paint. Um, it's used in a lot of oil paints and things like that. But um, I, as you can see, my bag is empty. So I need to go pick up more of this, but I really wanted to get the um, a first coat on. And I have tons of plaster, so I'm just going to add a little bit of plaster to um, see if that will create the thickening that I want. I think it will, uh, I just haven't done it before. So, I mean, I know that you use plaster in different types of painting techniques, um, so I think it might end up working. Um, and I'm also using a different brand of dehydrated milk. I've used dehydrated milk in my milk paint before. Um, and I mix up my own milk paint just because I um, like to control the pigments and stuff so I don't have to just um, buy what's available on store shelves. Um, so the pigment I'm using for my primer coat is a titanium dioxide. Um, big bag of titanium dioxide here. Um, and some of this. So I'm going to be dealing with proportions that I'm not used to either. Uh, typically I start with the dehydrated milk um, and I usually I'm going for consistency less less so than um, any specific proportions. <laughs> I've carefully measured this stuff out before for um, the sake of classes that I've taught but whenever I'm just doing it on my own I'm pretty much always just going on um, consistency. With just the dehydrated milk, I don't want it to be um, very thick at all. Just want to make sure I'm getting all the clumps out. And now I'm going to go with some dehyd um, the titanium dioxide. I don't want to add much um, of the plaster because I'm a, I don't want it to <laughs> sit it up into a solid block before I actually have it um, painted on the surface. And also, um, get your note here that I'm using um, regular room temperature water. I'm not using warm hot water because if you're using anything warm or hot around plaster, it's going to set it up a lot faster. But anyone who's worked with plaster, if you don't reach um, kind of like a, a super saturation kind of point with the plaster where um, the plaster is wanting to stand on the um, surface and not be mixed in, then it, it just won't set up ever. So, so I think that's kind of where we're at with this. I had a little bit more milk for no real reason <laughs> other than me. Just trying. All right, um, now that seems to be coating the spoon that I'm doing really well, so I'm gonna <laughs> use that as a kind of an indicator. Slightly experimental paint seems to have covered really well. 
Um, so now I'm going to do a little bit of touch up, give a, another coat, and then I'm going to flip over and do the bottom. So I have my um, frame all sanded, and put, not sanded, but um, puttied up, um, so about to be sanded. It looks absolutely horrible right now. I put a ton of putty on there. I was using rock hard putty and I added a little bit of um, paint to kind of make it match the oak a little bit better. Um, but I went a little bit um, heavy on the putty. but. Once I sand it, most of it's going to go away. I know I'm going to do quite a bit of sanding, so yeah, it'll be a lot of sanding, but it's going to be be fine. Be fine, I promise. me to the end of my um, build for my first few episodes on my YouTube channel. So this is um, a sculpture. Um, I think it's going to be entitled something along the lines of Astronaut Consoling Bison or Bison being touched by an astronaut. I don't know. Something along those lines. I like to keep my titles descriptive uh, but I really enjoyed sharing the process with you and I'm planning on doing a lot more of these so if you want to join me please like and subscribe and yeah you can find out what I'm going to be making next. Hint, it's a disc. Mm -hmm.